did you know that when it comes to dropshipping, you're not limited to just the United States? Ah. Uh. Well, apparently a lot of people thought that you were. Most people are so concentrated in just dropshipping in the United States that they forget that there's tons of other countries out there that could be just as profitable, but don't have as much saturation. You can dropship pretty much anywhere you want. You can dropship anywhere in Asia, in Australia, in Canada. You can really dropship around the entire world. But aside from the US, the second most profitable place to dropship to is gonna be Europe. That's why this video is gonna focus on the top dropshipping suppliers in Europe. Now, Europe is a continent with tons of different countries in it. So you're not gonna be limited to just one country. You have a ton of options to be able to dropship to. You have a huge market that you have access to that a lot of people are just avoiding or they're just ignoring. Everyone is focusing on the US, so this is the time that you need to start separating from everybody else and do your own thing. Go somewhere else, try something new, try dropshipping in a different country. You never know, it might end up being a lot more profitable for you because there's a lot less saturation. Now, before we get started with the top 20 dropshipping suppliers in Europe, let's start with how can you choose your supplier? How can you find out which one's good for you and which one is actually reliable? Well, there's a few things that you're gonna have to do. There's a few things you're gonna have to take note of, and most importantly, you need to reach out to them first. So the first thing you need to do is you need to choose your product niche. Now, after you choose your product niche, you need to go to your supplier and make sure that they have relevant items to your niche. Now, this is really gonna be dependent on your niche. Not every supplier is gonna offer a little bit of everything. Some are, but there's also gonna be specialized suppliers in certain niches. So you wanna make sure you do your research, you wanna make sure you check out their product catalog and see what they have to offer. Make sure it falls in line with what you're trying to do and with what you're trying to sell. Also, you need to make sure that they have good pricing. Don't just go with the first supplier that you see. Check one out, then go check out a few other ones. See if they have the same items. If not, see if they have similar items. If they do, compare prices. See which one's better for you. And remember, when you're comparing prices, also make sure that you take into consideration the shipping. Shipping is gonna vary from supplier to supplier, and it's also gonna vary depending on the country that you're shipping from. But all of the different suppliers that we're talking about today are gonna be located in Europe, or they're at least gonna have a warehouse in Europe, but don't let that stop you. Make sure you check out their shipping speeds because some suppliers are gonna take a little bit longer than others. Also, you need to make sure that they have good communication. A lot of the times, even though we have warehouses for certain suppliers in the country that we're drop shipping to, so we could have a supplier in Europe that has a warehouse in Europe, but their customer service isn't in Europe. Their customer service could be located in China. Now, this is when you really need to actually start getting involved and getting in contact with them. You wanna make sure that you send them a couple emails, you wanna ask them a couple questions, Ask them questions like, how's your shipping speed? How's your return policy? How are the quality of your products? Do you have a lot of returns? Things like that. Of course, they're gonna try to hype up their products and they're not always gonna tell you the complete truth about how the quality of the products are, but this is when you need to order a sample to see for yourself. But right now we're just testing out the communication. So we wanna see how they are, we wanna see how they communicate, and you wanna make sure that you understand how they communicate. You speak English? So again, a lot of the customer service representatives could be in a different country like China. So this is when you really wanna make sure that you have good communication. Because if you don't, a lot of things could be lost in translation and that could cost you some profits. Also speaking about communication, you wanna make sure that your suppliers get back to you in a timely manner. You wanna make sure that they get back to you no more than one day later. If they get back to you more than a day after, then this is what's gonna happen. So take for example, somebody comes to your store and they send you an email because they have a question regarding a particular product. You don't know the answer, so you need to ask your supplier. So you're gonna go ahead and forward that question to your supplier. They're gonna take two days to get back to you. After the first day, your customer's probably gonna think, they forgot about me, so let me just go to somebody else. Or they're just simply gonna forget that they even messaged you in the first place. Then when you get back to them, they're either not gonna care, they're not gonna be interested, or they would have already purchased their product from somebody else somebody who got back to them in a quicker fashion. It's too late, it's too late. Remember, as I always say, and I can't stress this enough, our customer service is going to be in part a reflection of our supplier's customer service. So we wanna make sure that we have good suppliers with good customer service and good communication. Now, most importantly of all, you wanna make sure that they have good reviews and you wanna make sure that they have legitimate reviews. How can you tell this? Well, go to their review page, check out their product reviews, check out their supplier reviews. So let's say your supplier is from AliExpress. 
On AliExpress, you have tons of different suppliers on that website where you can check the rating on the supplier themselves and their different products. But let's say you're dropshipping from Wayfair. Wayfair doesn't necessarily have an actual rating for Wayfair themselves, but they do have ratings for their products. But that doesn't mean that you can't get a rating for Wayfair themselves. What you can do is you can look at a website like Trustpilot and see what people are saying on there. Not necessarily as suppliers, because a lot of these people are going to be retail shoppers, but that's going to give you a good idea as to how customer service works or how they are as a company as a whole. All right, so now that we know everything that we need to know about what we need to choose our suppliers, let's go ahead and start the countdown for the top 20 dropshipping suppliers in Europe. Let's go. And kicking things off at number one, we have none other than my personal favorite, AutoDS. Now, with AutoDS, you get a ton of different bonuses. You don't just get drop shipping products. So as soon as you log into your AutoDS account, which if you don't have one just yet, you can sign up for the trial period for just $1. That $1 is going to get you for two weeks. Those two weeks are going to give you a chance to start making some sales in order to continue with the subscription and just keep being more profitable. So check these out. So once you sign on to your AutoDS account, you're going to be taken to your platform. Once you're on your platform, the first thing you're going to see is all of these different products in a ton of different categories. Now you have all your different categories up here. You can choose whatever niche that you're in. If you want to start your own brand, if you want to start branding your products, if you want to start sending out custom thank you cards with your logo on them, then check this out. All we got to do is go on over from supplier and just switch it over to AutoDS suppliers. This is what I always do. Whenever I source any of my products from AutoDS, I always look for AutoDS approved suppliers because a lot of them are actually going to give you a couple of benefits. One of them is going to be reduced prices. So you're going to have better pricing than you would have, let's say on AliExpress. Also, the second biggest benefit, in my opinion, is going to be the fact that you have the option to brand some of your products. So some of the private suppliers on AutoDS are going to give you the option to put your logo on a custom thank you card. That custom thank you card is going to be shipped with your order. And at the end of the day, when your customer receives their package, they open it and they see a little thank you card on there with your logo on it. It leaves a lasting impression. It really lets the customer know that you care about them and you really appreciate their business and you want repeat business. And this actually helps with that. This is something that can be very beneficial because again, it adds a personal touch to your orders. Now, how do you find those? Well, there's a few different ways. So once we go through the AutoDS suppliers, you're going to see all of these different ones, right? You're going to see this one that has discounts of prices. So this means you're going to get some pretty good pricing on this item. Aside from that, you're going to find one like this, customizable branding. Those are the ones that you're going to be able to customize with your branding. So that way you can have that custom thank you card. Now, all of these products are actually shipping to the US. One thing that makes AutoDS unique is the fact that you can choose items that ship to any particular country. So up here where it says ship to, just go ahead and click that and you can choose from any of these different regions. So since we're looking for European dropshipping suppliers, let's just go ahead and switch this over to the United Kingdom. And as you can see, you still have the most trending products in that particular country for that demographic of people. Granted, a lot of these different products are going to be worldwide, but certain countries or certain areas are going to have specific products that are actually doing better than they are in other countries. And this is where product research really comes in. This is where product research shines and conducting proper product research is going to be what gives you the information to actually start targeting the right demographic with the right items. Now, aside from the marketplace, you also have handpicked product section. This is where you're going to find products that are currently trending that have current market demand. These are all items that people right now are going absolutely crazy for. Like, look at this one right here. I've seen this quite a few times actually on TikTok. So let's just go ahead and click into one of these. And let me show you all of the extra information that you get with the winning product sub. So aside from the actual product, you're also going to have all of this. This isn't something that you're going to get on the regular marketplace. This is specific for the winning product sub. So you're going to have an engagement score. You're also going to have a saturation score. You're going to have a full profit analysis. You're also going to have a target audience. So if you don't know what audience you want to target with this product, then AutoDS is going to give you what current ads are targeting. So this ad right here, this is a Facebook ad. And you also have a TikTok ad. You have two TikTok ads actually for this product. Now these two TikTok ads and this Facebook ad are all three currently running promoting the same product. And the target demographic over here is pretty much what these videos are targeting as well. Now, before we continue, what is a saturation and an engagement score? So the saturation score, all you have to do is just hover over here and it tells you that what it does is measure the market saturation based on number of competitors selling similar products. So what does that mean? Well, 
how many of this particular item or similar items are currently being sold. Is the market oversaturated with it? Is it worth selling? Is there too many out there for you to compete with? Or can you start selling it and be a lead seller in that market? Well, that's what the saturation and the engagement score are here for. So the saturation score is going to tell you how saturated the market is, while the engagement score is going to tell you how much engagement that product is getting on social media. So across Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, how many people are interacting with those videos? How many people are clicking on those links? How many people are liking and leaving comments? That's what the engagement score is going to tell you. So if there's a lot of people interacting with it and there's not a lot of people selling it, then that means there's a good space for you to go in and start promoting that same product. Except you need to promote it in a different way that these other people are. You need to really highlight the features, you need to show it off, and you need to get creative with your marketing. Let's say instead of busy, it's a full market. Then it might not necessarily be worth dropshipping because everyone else is already selling it. But if you find a variation that has a particular feature or maybe something that stands out, then it could still be worth selling because you could stand out above the rest. Now, if you're going to be selling this on your own website, like let's say on Shopify, but you don't know how to structure your website, then we got you. So here's a few different examples that are selling this same product as well. So let's go ahead and click on this one, prestigehomeaccents.com. And there we go. So this is the website that's currently selling it. On AutoDS, it showed that it was $24.50. Here, it's showing that it's $19.60. So AutoDS is also taking into consideration the shipping cost. So here you can see how they have their product page structured and you can do something similar to it. Now, what would I do different? Maybe change up some of the images because this is honestly one of the, the very generic images, something that you're going to get from your supplier. This right here is just a bunch of text. Maybe just make it a bit more organized, make it a bit easier to read or break it up a little bit more. And all of these different images down here, I'll just get rid of them. Honestly, I don't like scrolling through pictures that are just on the side. So the layout can have a little bit of work, which is something that you can actually get done very easily. What you can do is you can take examples from this one, then you can go to all of the different websites here and just start taking examples from each one and see how it's structured. Then from there, you can pretty much create your own style on your own site. Now, you remember how I said that with AutoDS, you're not just going to be limited to drop shipping. Well, you're not. You can also start print on demand. So you can start printing out different types of shirts, different hoodies, different beanies, different hats, shoes, products that people can use around the house. You can design all of these and print them with your designs on them. So all we got to do is click on the print on demand section over here and you can choose from all of these different products. Now, again, some of these are going to be for the US only, but just go right here and click on printed in EU and then all of these different products as well, which is pretty much all of the same ones that we have in the US are available to you through European print on demand suppliers. Now, the print on demand suppliers that we work with are all thoroughly vetted and they're guaranteed quality. Now, not only that, but you get full dropshipping automation for your business. So if you're selling on Etsy, if you're selling on eBay, if you're selling on your own website like Shopify or Wix or WooCommerce, then you have the ability to take advantage of full automation. So with AutoDS, you can automate your entire product importing, you can automate your entire order fulfillment and the tracking process. So when somebody places an order in your store, AutoDS will automatically reroute that order to your supplier. They're going to place the order for you and they're even going to update the tracking number on your marketplace so that way your customer can know that it was shipped and the marketplace can know that the order was fulfilled. All right, next up at number two, we have Banggood. Now, Banggood is a Chinese supplier, but they do have warehouses worldwide. A few of those warehouses being in different parts of Europe. Now, the good thing about Banggood is the fact that you are going to have quick shipping. But remember, they are a Chinese supplier, so their customer service is probably going to be in China for the most part. So you are going to have to message them to see if communication is something that you're okay with. Now, I've messaged them in the past, and to me, I've never had a problem. Banggood has always been really good with communication. They've always been good with translations, and they've always had really good customer service. Now, with Banggood, one of the best things and one of my favorite features from there is the fact that they have an insane amount of discounts. They have discounts for pretty much any time of the year for pretty much any of their products as well. So once we come on here, the first thing that you want to do is just make sure that under the ship to by default is going to be through the US. Just go ahead and change that to shipping to and choose your country. So in this case, let's just go with the United Kingdom. The language is going to stay as English and the currency. We can go with either euros or pounds. Sorry, pounds. The UK uses pounds, actually. Now, Banggood has literally millions of different products in tons of different categories that you can choose from. Also, they have, like I said, they have really good customer service and they have pretty quick shipping, especially since they have warehouses in Europe. Now, Banggood is a very dropshipper friendly platform. 
Also, they're able to integrate with AutoDS, so you can automatically import products from Banggood to your store. Now, the only thing about Banggood that some people aren't 100% okay with is the fact that with their dropshipping program, because they do have a specific dropshipping program so you can get better pricing, with that dropshipping program, you can't pay with a credit card or with Western Union or however you want to pay. With their dropshipping program, you are going to have to have PayPal. But that's okay because PayPal actually makes it very safe to make transactions. So if there's ever any issues, and let's say Banggood doesn't fix the issue and it's clearly their fault, which I'm not saying that's going to happen because again, Banggood has great customer service. You never know, things happen. PayPal can save your butt. They can help get your money back. All right, next up we have the ever popular AliExpress. I'm pretty sure you figured that AliExpress was going to be on here, but let me tell you why. Look, AliExpress is actually known for drop shipping, and a lot of people don't like it because of their 30 or 60 day shipping speeds and the insane amounts of money that you need to pay for shipping and their terrible customer service. But that's a thing of the past. That is all from like two or three years ago when drop shipping was really starting to rev up. That's when everyone was trying to get into it. Now, AliExpress has refined themselves. AliExpress does still have some items and some sellers that do have 30 or 60 day shipping speeds. But for the most part, you can always find some items or some sellers that have two weeks shipping. They have warehouses around the entire world. So you're not always going to have products that ship from China. One of those places that they have warehouses in is Europe. There's a few different countries in Europe that are going to have warehouses for AliExpress. Now, just like in Banggood, once you sign on, always remember that up here, you do need to change this to the country that you want to drop ship to. And same thing with the currency. Now, AliExpress is not going to be the preferred supplier for consistent orders because AliExpress has a lot of different sellers. So AliExpress is really good to test out different products. That's primarily what I use it for. So if I find a product on AliExpress that's doing really well, if it starts to do really well for me, then I'm going to look for a dedicated supplier that supplies those particular types of products. But if you're just testing the waters, if you just want to check out a few different items, if you want to see what's popular, if you want to see what's trending, AliExpress is a great supplier to do this with. AliExpress also integrates easily with AutoDS, so that way you can also enjoy the benefits of automation. And realistically speaking, a lot of their products are very well priced. Now, with AliExpress though, you are gonna have a few cons. For one, like I said, you have those extremely long shipping speeds, but you can combat this by simply just looking at the product page, watch. So right here, this is all you need to do. Make sure you check out here that it shows either the free shipping or however much it costs and the deliver by date. So it's seven to about nine, 10 days. It's not that bad. All right, next up we have CJ Dropshipping. Now CJ Dropshipping has warehouses pretty much around the entire world as well. They have really good customer service and they have a few different shipping options for all of their different products. Now, one of the best things about CJ Dropshipping is the fact that they have white label services. White label services means you can brand your product as well. Now, not only can you brand your product, but you can also sometimes customize a few different aspects of that item as well. Maybe you can customize a little bit of the color or you can add your branding to it. Now, the branding isn't limited to just the item itself. Sometimes you're going to be able to update the item. Sometimes you're going to be able to brand your packaging. It really depends on the supplier and the product. Now, another really cool thing about CG Dropshipping is if you want to use them as one of your main suppliers and they don't have a particular item that you're looking for, you can actually submit a sourcing request so they can add it to their platform. So let's say you find an item on AliExpress and you want your supplier on CJ Dropshipping to offer it, you want to source it from them, then you can submit that sourcing request and they can find that item for you. So that way you can start offering it. Now, one of the things about CJ Dropshipping that a lot of people aren't necessarily too fond of is going to be the fact that CG dropshipping is a little bit more expensive than some of the other suppliers. But again, CG dropshipping is very high quality. So sometimes for quality, you need to trade off a little bit of money. It's not an insane amount expensive. Depending on the product, sometimes they're going to be the same price, but some other times it might be maybe one or two dollars more. Again, it depends on the product. There's too many factors to really put into it right now, but expect somewhat slightly higher prices on CJ dropshipping. But you are going to have better customer service than some of these other ones, like let's say AliExpress, or at least more consistent, better customer service. Now let's talk about niche specific suppliers. So if you're in the furniture niche, or if you're in the home goods niche, then you want to check out Costway. Costway is one of the best places to source your home goods. Now Costway isn't necessarily a wholesale supplier. They are more than anything, a retail store, but they do have their dropshipping program. And that dropshipping program will allow you to get better pricing and special promotions. 
Now, Costway is an AutoDS supported supplier. So again, you can enjoy the benefits of automation. Now, one of the things about Costway that a lot of people aren't necessarily too fond of is gonna be the fact that when they ship their items, they're gonna ship them in the Costway boxes. So your customer is gonna see where this item is coming from. Now, for the most part, most customers, they don't mind, they don't care. As long as they get their item on a timely manner and with good pricing, they're okay with it. They're okay with where it ships from. But if you do have an issue with it, if somebody doesn't like it, you can simply mention something along the lines of, Costway is one of the manufacturers that you work with and they're the ones that fulfill your orders. Again, most people aren't gonna have an issue with this, but if you do have a problem, just make sure you offer the best customer service that you can. At number six, we have eBay. Now eBay is an awesome dropshipping supplier because you can find literally anything on there. You can find things from vintage goods all the way up to the newest products that have just come out. Now, one thing about eBay is they do have inconsistent shop policies. So certain sellers on there are gonna have different policies than others. So you just need to make sure that the seller that you're purchasing from has a good policy. Make sure that they accept returns and they have good customer service. So try to send them a message. Aside from that though, eBay's customer service, their actual dedicated customer service is fantastic. So if you ever have any issues with any sellers or any of your suppliers on there, then you can reach out to eBay and they'll help you out. They'll make sure that they get you straight and that you get your issue resolved as quick as possible. eBay is also supported by AutoDS. So once again, you can enjoy the benefits of automation. And not only can you use eBay as a supplier, you can use eBay as a marketplace. So with AutoDS, you're able to import your products automatically from eBay and list them automatically to eBay, if that's where you wanna sell. Next up, we have Shopify. Now, I know Shopify isn't necessarily a supplier per se, but there's over 4 million stores on Shopify. And it's guaranteed that on some of those stores, if not a lot of them, you're gonna find some really good pricing on certain items. So because of that, Shopify made this list. There's a lot of dropshippers out there that sell products at way cheaper rates than you can find in certain other places. Sometimes they're even able to match the prices of the suppliers themselves. So in this case, you're able to take advantage of that pricing. You're able to take advantage of those suppliers. All right, next up we have Wayfair UK. Now, Wayfair is the place to go or one of the places to go for home goods and furniture. Here you can find tons of different furniture pieces and the best part is you get free shipping on orders over $35. Now Wayfair offers tons of different benefits and a lot of different perks, including the ability to integrate with AutoDS to automate your dropshipping store. Now, one thing is they do not offer wholesale pricing, but that's totally okay because this is furniture and a lot of home goods. These are high ticket items, which you're gonna be making some pretty big profits off of anyway in the first place. Next up we have Vita Excel UK. Now, one awesome thing about Vita is the fact that they have free shipping on all of their items. On top of that, they also integrate seamlessly with AutoDS to automate your dropshipping store. Vita Excel has tons of different high quality items at some very competitive prices compared to some of the other suppliers. Now, one thing you do need to know about Vita Excel is they do have a dropshipping program, but it comes with a charge. Now that charge is gonna be about 30 pounds per month, where really it's not that much, especially if you're getting consistent sales and if you're using Vita Excel as one of your primary suppliers, it's definitely worth it. Another thing about Vita Excel that you need to keep in mind is for each country that you're gonna be drop shipping to, you're gonna need a separate account. So let's take, for example, you wanna drop ship to the United Kingdom and you also wanna drop ship to, I don't know, France. Well, you're gonna need a separate account for each of those. All right, next up we have one of my favorite suppliers and that's Costco UK. Well, I like regular Costco because I live in the US, but Costco UK is just the same exact thing. Now, when it comes to Costco, Costco is a wholesale supplier. They have bulk pricing. Costco has tons upon tons of different items. Aside from that, they also have really good customer service and very fast shipping speeds. Now, all of this comes at a price. Now, if you do wanna enjoy all of these different benefits, then you are gonna have to pay their yearly fee. Now, their yearly fee is something that's pretty negligible, especially if you're using Costco for most of your products, because at the end of the day, your profits are gonna outweigh the membership fee, especially if you have consistent sales. So the membership fee is really gonna depend on the country that you're supplying from. So in the US, it's about $130 per year. So really, it's not that much, especially when you break it down per month. Plus Costco has really good prices. So being able to have that little bit of extra money or a little bit of extra profit can really help with offsetting that yearly membership. But if you don't wanna get the yearly membership, then that's totally fine. You can still use Costco as your supplier. You can still purchase from them, but you are gonna be paying 5% more. 
All right, number 11, DHgate. Now, DHgate is a wonderful supplier. They have warehouses around the entire world and they have some really good prices. Now, aside from that, DHgate also has tons of different deals that you can choose from. They always have some sort of coupon or some sort of special going on. But one thing that you really need to look out for with DHgate is the fact that they have a lot of replica products. They have a lot of products that you shouldn't be selling on your dropshipping store. All of their other products are fine, but anything that's replicated, anything that looks like it could be branded, anything that looks like it could be a knockoff, stay away. That's a big red X. Do not dropship those products because then you have the possibility of landing in some legal trouble or having your store shut down, depending on the marketplace that you're selling on. Now, DHK does have wholesale pricing, so you're gonna have some of the best pricing out on the market, but a lot of users report having some pretty low quality items, unfortunately. Now, this isn't for every single product that they sell, so my suggestion to you is if you wanna take advantage of their low pricing, then order a sample. Order a sample, see how the quality is, and if it's up to par, if it's up to your standards, then let's go ahead and use them as your dropshipping supplier. Go ahead and start offering that product. All right, next up we have one of my recent favorite suppliers and that is Amazon. Now I know what you're thinking. I have an Amazon account, but if I start shipping to different addresses on a consistent basis, Amazon's gonna restrict or block my account. Well, yeah, that can totally happen, but that doesn't mean that it's impossible to dropship from Amazon. Amazon is one of the best suppliers that you can go with. They have extremely fast shipping speeds with their Amazon Prime services. They have great customer service and their prices are sometimes unbeatable. Sometimes their prices are the same prices that you're gonna find on, let's say, AliExpress. So how can you dropship from Amazon without banning or restricting your account? Easy, AutoDS has got you. So with AutoDS, you have a service called Fulfilled by AutoDS. If you have the service active and if you have it turned on for Amazon as your supplier, then AutoDS is actually gonna be placing the orders on your behalf through the AutoDS buyer accounts. So your account is never gonna be touched. You're never gonna be at risk of getting banned or getting restricted. AutoDS has tons of different Amazon accounts that they can use for this particular purpose. So if you're using Amazon as your supplier, then make sure that you use Fulfilled by AutoDS to avoid any account restrictions and just enjoy all of the benefits that Amazon has to offer. Not only that, but through AutoDS, you still have the option to automate your entire dropshipping business. So if you're using Amazon as your dropshipping supplier, then don't worry about it. AutoDS has got you, will pretty much take care of the entire process for you. All right, next up we have Printful. Now, Printful isn't necessarily for dropshipping, it's more for print on demand. Now, Printful, you can find tons of different products that you can customize completely. So any designs that you want, you can put on these products. Printful has awesome customer service, they have warehouses in a few different countries in Europe, and they have pretty fast shipping speeds as well. Now, with Printful, you are gonna be limited to only print on demand. So if there's a certain item out there that you wanna sell, like let's say, I don't know, some dog toy, you're not gonna have access to that through Printful. This is specifically for print on demand. Now, Printful does tend to be a little bit higher priced than some other print on demand providers, but that's kind of the price that you have to pay to be able to customize these different items. They do have really good quality items. They, everything that they offer is high quality, fast shipping, and the actual prints on the products themselves come out fantastic. Granted, you do need to have good artwork as well. All right, next up we have Printify. Now, Printify is pretty similar to Printful in terms of the products that they offer and the services that they offer. They both do prints on demand exclusively, and most of the products on there are gonna be pretty much the same thing. So with these two suppliers, with Printify and Printful, you are gonna be limited to the amounts of products that you can offer. But of course, you're not gonna be limited to the amount of variations that you can offer. That's up to your creativity because at the end of the day, you're gonna be designing these. So if you have 50 different designs for one product, that means you have 50 different products. Now with both Printify and Printful, you do have the ability to start for free. So they have a free starting plan. But if you want better pricing, then you're going to have to pay for their premium plans. Now, when it comes to product quality for Printify or print on demand in general, this is really going to depend on the company that you're working with. So Printify actually prints everything themselves. They don't have a vast network of printers like Printful does. Printify has their own companies that they work with to print your different items. And in order to assess the quality, you're going to have to order a sample. Make sure you have high quality artwork when you upload it. And once you receive that sample, inspect it, most importantly, wear it and wash it. Make sure it lasts about a month or so before you decide that you actually wanna sell this product. Because certain products or certain designs, sometimes you can have a little bit of a quality issue. 
So maybe you wear the t-shirt or the hoodie, you wash it, and once you take it out of the dryer or the washer, you notice that the design is a little bit wrinkled, maybe it's starting to crack, maybe it's even starting to peel off the garment itself. In which case, then you know, maybe this isn't the supplier for me. Quick note though, have you noticed that when it comes to print on demand and drop shipping, there are essentially two different worlds. People that offer print on demand don't necessarily offer drop shipping and vice versa. People that offer drop shipping aren't going to always offer print on demand. Now, there are some suppliers that do, but they don't really focus on the other. That's why I always recommend AutoDS, and that's why AutoDS is number one on this list, because you have extensive options when it comes to print on demand and drop shipping as well. So you can have essentially two businesses in one, or you can really expand on one business that you already have. But continuing on, next up we have CD Discount. Now, CD Discount is actually a French supplier. So this supplier is based out of France. So for one, they actually have quite the presence around the entire continent of Europe. So a lot of the countries in Europe have heard about CD Discount. Now, aside from that, they have tons of different products that you can choose from. All of these products are going to be ranging in a bunch of different niches. CD Discount also integrates seamlessly with AutoDS, and they even have a loyalty program, so you can enjoy certain benefits such as rewards or points. Now, since CD Discount is a French company, there could be a language barrier. So unless you speak fluent French, or unless you're actually using something like Google Translate, there might be some issues with customer service. But that's, again, that's okay, because as long as you can reach out to them, and if you find that communication isn't that bad, then you'll be all right. You can use Google Translate a lot of the times to be able to go back and forth. And this is something that's actually very common. A lot of people in China are going to be using Google Translate to communicate effectively with people around the entire world. Of course, a few things might get lost in translation here and there, but for the most part, as long as the customer service works, as long as they're friendly, they get back to you in a timely manner, and the language barrier isn't that bad using something like Google Translate, then you can definitely take advantage of a supplier like CD Discount. Next up, we have Big Buy. Now, Big Buy is a supplier that is specifically for dropshipping. Their focus is dropshippers. So they're gonna have tons of different products for you to choose from and some of the best customer service because these people know that you're dropshipping. Now they do offer wholesale pricing and their shipping fees have been reported to be pretty good. So a lot of the times their shipping fees are gonna be very affordable compared to some of these other suppliers. Now with Big Buy, you can't expect a lot of competition. A lot of people do use them already as their supplier, but that doesn't mean that you can't use them. Just check out their product line, see if any of their products fall in line with your niche and take it from there. Order a sample, see how it goes. Also, another thing that you wanna watch out for is gonna be their return policy. So when it comes to the return policy, unless the item is damaged or something happened in transit, unfortunately, you can't return it. But that doesn't mean that you can't accept returns. A lot of suppliers work this way. So if a customer doesn't want the product, a lot of the times what's gonna happen is they're gonna simply return it to you instead of the supplier themselves. Up next to number 17, we have Brands Gateway. Now, Brands Gateway has over 90,000 items from luxury brand designers. And best part is, is that they even have a dropshipping program to help you sell these. These are high ticket items. These are the ones that are gonna really bring in the big bucks with just one order. Now here you're gonna find tons of different unique fashion items. And best part is, is that they have some really fast shipping in Europe. They have a few different warehouses in there. Now with Brands Gateway though, you are gonna have a minimum order. So you can go the wholesale route or you can go the drop shipping route. If you decide to go with the wholesale route and get the better pricing, you're gonna have that minimum order. If you decide to go the drop shipping route with their drop shipping program, then you are gonna have a higher than average drop shipping fee. So just make sure you take that into consideration and make sure to reach out to them to get more information on their pricing if you're interested. But remember, these are all gonna be luxury brands, so people are gonna be paying top dollar for these. Next up, BTS Wholesaler. Now BTS Wholesaler is gonna mainly focus on perfumes and cosmetics. So these types of accessories. They have over 17,000 products from about 600 different brands as well. So you're gonna have a lot of options to choose from. Best thing is, is that perfumes, people are willing to pay top dollar for perfumes. They are pretty high ticket items as well. The best part is, is that they also have white label products and you have the ability to customize your own packaging too. So you can essentially start your own brand or your own perfume brand using BTS Wholesaler. Now, unfortunately, they don't have a lot of integration options. So if you do wanna automate your store with AutoDS, let's say, you're not gonna have that option. You're gonna have to do everything directly through their website. So let's say somebody places an order on your store, instead of having AutoDS fulfill that order for you by placing that order for you, 
you're going to have to go and take that order, take that information, your customer's information, and place that order for your customer. Now, this is okay, it's fine to do, but just keep in mind that a lot of the times, if you start to get a lot of orders, it's gonna take a long time. Order fulfillment is quick if it's only a couple of different orders that you need to do. But if you start to get 50, 60, 70 different orders in a day, you're gonna spend a lot of time in front of your computer simply just copying and pasting customer's information. And don't even get me started on the margin for human error. Trust me, automation really helps with pretty much all of these issues. All right, next up we have Grafati. Now Grafati is another wholesale supplier for branded products. Here you're gonna have over 20,000 different products with about 300 or so brands. They are a dropshipper friendly platform. So if you sign up with them, you can reach out to them and get started dropshipping. They completely support this and this is essentially one of their main functions. So dropshipping from this platform is gonna be fairly easy. Now they do have some pretty quick shipping, but one thing that you need to keep in mind is gonna be the fact that they have a dropshipping fee. Not only that, but they also have a minimum order. So keep that in mind if you're planning to use them as one of your dropshipping suppliers. And last but certainly not least at number 20, we have Brands Distribution. Brands Distribution has over 120 original brands for you to start dropshipping with. And best of all, they have original pictures. Original pictures, which are high quality. Unlike some of those that you get on, let's say, AliExpress, that once you save it and you upload it, they're super pixelized and blurry. And when you click it to expand, you can't even tell what the item is. Now with Brands Distribution, you do get all of these high quality images and high quality products as well, but you are gonna have a drop shipping fee. So make sure that that's something that you go ahead and consider if you are trying to use Brands Distribution as one of your suppliers. Now, one big plus to Brands Distribution is the fact that they have an actual platform where you can manage all of your other platforms from. So if you're selling on a few different platforms, of course, they do have to be relevant to brands distribution or compatible, then you are going to have access through the brands distribution dashboard. And those were the top 20 European dropshipping suppliers for your European dropshipping business. Now, I know this video was kind of long. I don't know if I went in too much detail into any of these different suppliers, but if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button. I'm pretty sure if you made it this far, you did enjoy the video. So you better be smashing that like button and also hit that subscribe button. The analytics for some reason tell us that a lot of the people that watch this video are not subscribed or our videos are not subscribed. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss out on any videos that have to do with making money. On this channel, we help you make as much money as you possibly can through dropshipping and print on demand. And if you're not subscribed and you don't have notifications turned on, then you could potentially be missing out on profits. So if you don't want to lose out on money, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any videos that we release. And with that, my name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.